What's up? I think we are live. Let me refresh, make sure the volume is good. If you can hear me, you can see me. Let me know so we can start the show and make sure we are loud and clear. So right on time, kind of surprised. Uh, Matt, what's up? We're going to do some uh, shout outs, see who's here in the chat, and then we'll start getting into some of the updates and then into our main topic. So, um, go to girl boss. Good to see you. Uh, Lucky on three legs. Let's see. District deals. Uh, Sneaker finds 12. Genius and Matt Steez. Let's see. Souls and Stitches. eBay Joey. Uh, let me see. Kid Icarus also here. Caroline, what's up? Uh, Robert, Doug the Pug. Man, keep going up. Stillwater, Roy Williams, Matthew Eugene, Omar. And more people coming in. So Faith Lopez, good to see you too. And Jimmy, also here. Jam, uh, three five six, flipping dollars, half a pino. With Daniel, um, Fast Eddie, uh, H Family Finds, Ocean So, good to see you too. And K Brady, good. Uh, are you going over an hour again? Maybe. There's a. I got a, tagged on a lot of things this week. A lot of random, really good finds too. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Hustler hacks for president. Hey, I can try. Uh, let's see, Chris, Joel, Victor, Giovanni, Paper, Drew, and Stevie D. Good to see you guys both. Ross Shallington, too. Been killing it. Mercurial Venom, Tech Pop. Uh, man, familiar faces here every week. Appreciate that. So, uh, before we start, let's see. Number one, really want to apologize to everybody that I haven't gotten through the emails and the DMs. It's been taking me <laughs> way longer than usual and i was like all right i'm gonna get to them especially the emails i was like all right i gotta get to them and i haven't yet so by the end of this week i'm hoping um i can get through all of them and uh you'll hear back from me so i apologize for that i've been taking way too long uh number two what do we think about warriors raptors uh so game six tomorrow we're not interrupting any games this week and doing the live, but Raptors, Warriors, who do you got? Game six. Let me tell you why Warriors are going to win game six. Because NBA already knows what they're doing. If, if necessary, game seven, it will be on, what do you know, Father's Day. NBA knows exactly what's going on. It will go to game seven. Now, from there, I have no clue who's going to win. Uh, but I can tell you right now, Warriors will win game six. So that's my theory, and I'm sticking with it. Uh, let's see. What do they say? Raptors, Raptors, Durant is out. I know, Durant's out, but they want to make sure they can make all the money they want, get all the ratings they want. It'll be on Father's Day. They'll be ready. Uh, man, Eugene, super chat early, 10 bucks. I appreciate that. Eugene, uh, love this channel. Well, thanks for being here and watching, being part of the live every week, and we're just uh, getting started. So, Eugene, thanks. Uh, let me see. What's up? Hustle and Silence. Good to see you, too. And Texas Pete. KD is coming back. He will next year. It's all about the money. Exactly. Half a Pino. Uh, make sure they go all the way to game seven. Uh, let me see. Go Warriors. Let me see. First fossil discovered on a June thirteenth. The Raptors. That's hilarious. Um, all right, so let's get into the uh, updates. Let me get this out of the way. I can screen share, and let's see entire screen. All right, get this out of the way. Uh, okay, share. All right, move this. Move this. Okay. Let me know. Can you see everything? Um, can you see the uh, little slideshow on the side? Can you see me? Can you see the chat? Let me know. Kawhi Eagle Secret app. Let's start off with the opening. Nike Stranger Things. Uh, um, really, people are disappointed on uh, what Nike released. So it's like a little mix between Cortez. Um, you can see them here. So Cortez and Blazers. And um, you get the like Hawkins, um, you know, gear and they really hyped it up like you guys saw on the sneakers app you guys saw i think like different billboards around they had like a nike truck leaving and like a missing shipment and they did this whole marketing thing 
And then uh, everyone's like, oh man, Stranger Things, like what are they gonna do? What can they do? What will they do? And this is what they gave us. <laughs> um, so everyone has been uh, pretty down. Um, so exactly, Paper Drew. I thought maybe they would have done something with a Jordan 1. Um, but even with the shoes that they did pick, maybe just something a little bit more creative. They didn't go that route. Uh, this gear was okay. Uh, but even then, just like what? Like a fake high school gear? So it comes down to. Um, or they're going to what? Middle school? High school? I don't know what they're going into. Anyway. Um, so yeah, Stranger Things. I don't know. I was I was pretty disappointed as well. But let me know what you think in the chat. So some people said straight to outlet, which could happen. Uh, Red Cortez, I saw that. It's not bad. I think he wanted to do like a 4th of July theme or something for this. Uh, but yeah. All right. So word of the day is hype. And hype is going to lead us into our weekend releases. So starting out tomorrow, we get Supreme Jordan 14 and a $248. Uh, this, I don't know, is this like official or not? I don't know if you guys have seen this photo right here on the right of Jordan wearing um, this jacket with the uh, blue shirt under and these uh, like sparkly thing. I don't know what these are, stud sparkly thingies. Um, and apparently that was like the inspiration for this. I don't know if that's ultimately true or not. Anyway, uh, they have the black and blue version, and then we have the red, white, and and black version. Now, 248 each hype. What do you think is going to happen with the shoe? Everything, everything Supreme sells out, we know, but not everything has that great resale value that we know and that we want. And sometimes people pick up things, they end up just sitting there. Um, I don't really know about this one because it was almost like, all right, Supreme, yeah. And then I was like, ah, but it's a Jordan 14. So I was like, what do we do? We're going to see what happens tomorrow. Let me know in the chat um, if you uh, plan on uh, picking these up or trying to pick these up um, <laughs> to resell or for the collection. Right now, the chat says trash. Um, yes, drops tomorrow. Exactly. Uh, fake news. <laughs> uh, trash shoe. They're running out of inspirations. It will sit. Are those rhinestones? Yes, rhinestone stud looking things. They have. Uh, I, I'm guessing that's what comes from this from this photo. Four things aren't great to begin with, which is also true. They don't really don't have that hype, um, exactly to begin with. Um, so that's kind of tough now that you're doing something like this. Yellow Ferrari are better. I do like that one a lot better. Uh, they'll resell. Uh, they'll sell out, but resell? Nope. So that's from Gabriel. I do think that too. They will sell out, but I don't think the resell value is going to be anywhere near some of the other past releases that we've seen. Make sure we didn't freeze. Or I'm still kind of blurry on here. Let me know if I'm blurry. Try to refresh. Um, might work out, but let me know. Okay, go down. Next one. All right. Weekend, weekend releases. What's coming up? So this also comes out tomorrow. Uh, Odell Beckham Jr. and Nike Air Max 720. And I thought this one was kind of weird because 200 retail, okay, but um, exclusively in-store at Soulbox. And not only will the shoes come in in-store exclusive box, limited to 20 pairs, but OBJ himself is slated to be on hand for the launch. Uh, that was come. I was thrown off, but twenty pairs, and he's gonna be there in store. I don't know where Soulbox is. Maybe you guys will let me know um, in the uh, chat. But this one is coming out tomorrow, so Thursday, June thirteenth, two hundred bucks. Um, so there we go. Looks like a women's <laughs> uh, straight garbage. Um, Oda Begums are dope. So there we go. Tasha, uh, bad colors. Which Miami store? Oh, so there you go, Miami store. So 200 bucks. Next one. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> oh man, I don't even know how to even talk about these. Uh, Jordan 4 flying it. These photos leaked in the past, and it was just, I mean, automatic, just laughable. Uh, 220, really, really, Jordan Brand's gonna go with 220 for these. 
Um, they do release June fourteenth, and you know what? Forget this. Let's just go look at these other colors on here. Like, <laughs> like what kind of Sesame Street thing is this? So, and the flying it. I mean, why would we? Why would we attempt this? Um, exactly right. Straight to outlets. Straight to Ross. This blue one should just be straight to Ross exclusive. You know, especially for the workers. You're wearing the blue shirt already. You can match it with these. This is this is rough. Um, and this is why I think a lot of people have problems with Jordan brand when they release things like this. And you're just like, what? Like, what is going on? Uh, but yeah, they're going to try for 220. We know that's not going to work. Come into your outlets soon. So there we go for Jordan 4 flying it. <laughs> Designed in the dark. That's hilarious. Crayola pack. <laughs> uh, Nike Air Oh, Nike Air Max 90 B True um, 130. So arriving a bit later than the rest of the already released B True 2019 collection. But this Air Max 90 is worth the wait uh, because it has multicolor swooshes in here, apparently. I, I don't even know why it got released later than all the other stuff that's already came out. But uh, I don't know. Saturday, June 15th, 1.30 for that one. All right, let's go to the next one. No Jordan shoe should ever be flying it. I agree. Next one. All right, so uh, the 700s. Let me know if you are... In the chat, if you're a fan of 700s, it really depends on color and everything. I mean, 700s don't, it's just totally different. I mean, 300 for them as well, so that also doesn't help us. But um, they're going to try. So they're going to try for this one Saturday, June 15th, 10 a.m. Um, after we just got, you know, the reflective and non-reflective uh, all black that just came out, V2s that were just... Obviously, that one did well, but this, it's not going to happen. And I guess you can wait later on for the other Yeezys that are going to come out later on this month. So, <laughs> trash, these aren't it. Exactly. Um, pure ass, that's from Miguel. <laughs> Looks like a robot's foot. Dad shoe for sure. Trash. So, there we go. 700s and the chat speaks for themselves. All right, next one. Um, how do I say this? How do I pronounce this? I'm not fancy enough. Come de Garçons, something, <laughs> if I said that right. Nike Shocks. Man, where do we go from? 3.50, uh, June 13th, Paris Fashion Week. So they're getting fancy uh, with this Nike Shocks. Um, almost looks like a dog tore them up right here, like on the tongue and the back. So they're going a little wild. But remember, this is Fashion Week. This is what fashion looks like. And they are 300 and fifty dollars. Um, oh, so there, <laughs> there we go. Hustle and silence. Yeah, you gotta work on that. Uh, sounds good to me. Absolutely not. Yuck. No resale. Clean for the runway. There we go from Roy. Uh, but yeah, these are coming out on oh tomorrow. So there you go. Uh, next one. <laughs> Nike Air Foam Posit One Albino Snakeskin. Two thirty comes out on Saturday. Um, seeing how many foams have come out, women's section, even men's foams that have been sitting for a while, uh, 230 for these uh, albino snakeskin. So let me know in the chat, collection or to resell, what do you think? Um, sneakers app barely works at times when releases come out. So even if you did want them, um, good luck even trying to pick something. But again, outlets uh this one i believe gonna be pure outlet find down the road and even then you better get a good deal um if they have any sort of resale value which yeah i don't think it's gonna happen uh, kevin durant foam posit it's hilarious with the snake um let me see no more hype pronounce ross that's hilarious yeah there's not a lot of hype uh for foam posits at all anymore um, I think unless you're looking at like classic Penny Hardaway colorways, even then, I'm just like, I don't know what's going on, but they keep pumping them out. So there we go. 230. Yes. Overpriced. All right. And that's it actually for the uh, weekend releases. So last weekend, obviously a lot better. We had fear of gods. We had the Yeezys, all of that. But now this week, 
they're somewhat settling down. Like they're giving you an off week to, especially when this is coming out to rest a bit. Um, and then maybe the next week we can get some uh, better finds, but those are your weekend releases. So you can sleep in and you don't have to worry about anything else, uh, this Saturday. So here we go. All right. Let's go to Nike beating models to the ground. I know. All right. So let's go to the store updates. Now, uh, there was only one article that really caught my attention. I didn't see any store updates as far as like what stores are opening, anything like that. I didn't see anything new. But uh, we've talked about Ross and their stocks uh, in the past. So um, this one came out. So uh, Zach's rank number three have surged 14.3% in the year, talking about Ross and how they're growing. Ross has emerged as an attractive investment option. So if you're looking in investing in Ross, which we do know, they plan on opening more stores. They are doing well. Um, you can do that. And uh, there we go for the stock option. Now, interesting though, second part of this, um, you know, article. Now, Ross has been, let's read this thing. Ross has been consistently been on track with its store expansion plans. Uh, opened 28 stores in February and March, comprising 22 Ross and six DD's discount stores. Uh, this March completion of the company's planned store expansion for the first quarter fiscal 2019 in the fiscal second quarter expects to open 28 stores again. So 22 Ross and uh, six DD's discounts and uh, Ross is on track to meet target inaugurating 100 stores in fiscal 2019, including 75 Ross and 25 DD's discounts. <sighs> all right. Funny thing about DD's is like, look at the way. DD's lowercase and discounts all huge. It's like, why are they yelling at us? But I guess that's the way they uh, trademarked their, their name. Now this part, it should be noted that the company store expansion efforts are focused on increasing penetration in the existing as well as new markets. I don't know why they use the word penetration, which I thought that was kind of weird, but so there we go. Ross, DD's discounts, double penetration. Uh, currently it operates 1700 Ross stores and DD's discounts, which we talked about this, right? Um, over the long term, Ross expects to operate 3,000 stores, 3,000 expanding Ross chain stores. So 2400 Ross and 600 DD's discounts. These guys are going wild. So they're trying to get to like what corner store level, these guys. Uh, but Ross really expanding. Uh, so 2,400 locations, they they will definitely get there. I don't know how soon they're going to get there. Um, <laughs> Glenn is 10 years old. I don't know as soon as they're going to get there, but this is uh, insane growth for them. And, and looking at Burlington and how they're trying to also grow and beat Ross, I'm like, man, they have, they have a lot of work to do as far as how many stores Ross has out there. Um, but they're growing and yeah, we'll see when they get to that point. 3000 stores and only 2000 cashier. That's from Justin. Yeah. Ross, they don't, they don't mess around with the, well, no Burlington, either one of them, you're going to be in line for a while. I don't know. I don't know what their deal is as far as hiring goes. Okay. Last week, this is where we were on the power rankings. This is going to be extremely important. Let me make sure we didn't freeze because this is important here. All right. Last week, TJ Maxx, number five, DD's discounts held their ground at number four for the second week in a row. Marshalls, Ross, Burlington rounded up at number one. They've been number one this entire time. Um, so let's get into it and see where everybody is now. All right. DD's discounts, we gave them their shot. They held their own for two weeks. It's just not going to happen, especially with only foam posits being out there and even some of the up tempos not having it. So uh, DD's discounts fell back to number five where they pretty much have belong all year. So five and TJ Maxx at four. Now TJ Maxx did improve a bit. So we're going to get to uh, some of the people that tagged me on uh, TJ Maxx fine. So TJ Maxx, Sal Kicks. And I think, uh, I don't know if I did this the week before. I didn't know what store it was from, but 
uh, TJ Maxx, women's section, all Vapor Max loaded up, different colors, and I believe um, they're $69, I think. Um, but hey, this alone, you're definitely going to beat uh, DD's discounts when they're only lingering around with some foam posits. But Vapor Max, Sal Kicks, killing it, has a cart, mini cart full uh, for Vapor Max in women's section. Remember, men's, we don't have uh, any shoes there, only during the holidays. All right, next one. Uh, also, Sal Kicks, $69.99 for the PG uh, backpack. So, uh, this one, though, I think this is, I think there's this one and a PlayStation one out there. The PlayStation one sells really, really well. This one, I don't know how much resale value it has, um, but definitely go with the PlayStation if you do find it. Um, and last, this one was um, a different find, but CNJ Enterprises. So uh, Team USA briefcase bag from 2016 Rio Olympics. This is just a random find, but I thought this was pretty cool. Check out the inside. Uh, with the Nike tags and everything, 2016 Olympics, all of that in there. Pretty cool find, like a totally random thing. And um, I don't know how much it was, uh, but I got tagged on it. So CJ Enterprises appreciate that. Uh, but yes, TJ Maxx barely over these discounts. So not a whole lot going on. But hey, something different for us to look at. So who even goes to TJ Maxx? I went to two of them low key today. There we go. Found two and passed. So bargain strikes. So must not have been that great, but it's a pretty cool find regardless. All right, number three, Marshalls. We didn't get a lot of Marshalls tags uh, on Instagram this week. We're going to go through them. Tampa Finds, uh, Air Max, 90, so $49.99, like a triple white color, I believe. Um, even posted the receipt so you can see where he's located in Florida. So Tampa finds in Port, what Newport Ritchie, Florida, exact location. So there we go. And Relentless Resale says those are clean, triple white. Next one, uh, TDBS Marketplace, and man, these are some crazy cleats. So twenty dollars for Under Armour, I believe. Under Armour, <laughs> I think so. With this uh, dollar sign stuff, so it says Snoop, MC Hammer, thirteen and a half. Uh, interesting finds didn't take home. So showing that one, 20 bucks. Next one, uh, Fabes finds and uh, 760 Cleater. So they found the, uh, what is that? Nike Lunar Vapor Storm Golf, right? Golf. Okay. 1999. Really, really cheap. So good price on that one. Uh, looks like what size 11 and 10 and a half here, complete with box. For 760 cleater, Fabes finds. I don't know how many of them we got, but nice find and uh, 20 bucks. Next one. Uh, let me see. Don Alpha Cleat and Soles and Stitches both found the Air Max 270 Flyknit. $59.99 was the price, and 10 and a half and 11, it looks like, uh, complete with box, of course. So we had two different um, approaches. I don't know if Don Alpha Cleat ended up picking them up or not, but Souls and Stitches says uh, left them. So in that case, let me know in the chat. Smash or pass on the Air Max 720 flying it in this color, this uh, red and black colorway. Would you pick up collection or to resell? Since uh, this is what I do like, though, about People tagging, also just saying they're picking up stuff or not picking them up uh, because people have different views on it. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Really depends on the person, the capital, the research, um, the sizes that were available. If they're big sizes, small sizes, um, maybe something that wasn't really selling that well, what would you do? So here we are on a 270 Flying It. Smash Ultra Hard, passed, smash. I passed on those today. There we go, pass. Smash harder, uh, pass comps, Doug the Pug, pass uh, 10 and a half and 11 low comps. So there we go, eBay Joey. That's good to know. Uh, smash super hard, smash, um, see, passed on these. So a little mix. And that's also why, in between this show, this show might go over an hour because in between, we're going to double check 
some of these finds. Let's do it ourselves. Let's do the research on this. If you do find them out there in the wild, style code only 104 results. And uh, we're at 104.99, 117. So yes, we would have to look at what sizes are available and assuming 10 and a half and 11, 10 and a half, there's 24, 11, there's 19. Um, the rest are a little bit lower than that, but it is, you know, 270. I think the thing is that people aren't really digging um, this part. I think, I don't know, the fly knit in general, I think for this shoe. But let's look at solds though. Um, 43 results. They are moving, which is good. But 89, 104, 98, 99, 120, 110, 150. I don't know if that was the right one. Yeah, 150, but that was 11 and a half. So uh, I could see why you would want to get them. But right now they're not looking that great, but they are complete with box. I would probably say this. If they are on the other secret apps, because sometimes they're not, um, then I would probably be patient on that. And I think you can definitely get your money um, selling them for like, what? what is the retail on this anyway? 170? I mean, 130, 140. But if not, and you're really depending on one platform, ugh, 59 selling it for like 89, 99. Yeah, I don't see it happening. But 39, like Doug the Pug, definitely. All right, let's go to the next one. 760 Cleater uh, with a full uniform. Women's, uh, man, full uniform here. What is the retail on this? 45 for the shorts and 80 for the jersey. Looks like 7.99 for the shorts. Man, dirt cheap. Uh, this is women's, and yeah, shorts for eight bucks. So, uh, congrats on that. I mean, that's that's awesome. All right, next one. Oh, that's it. That's all we had uh, for for Marshalls. We didn't get a lot of tags at all. Uh, let me know in the chat if Marshalls has been uh, working out for you. But personally, my Marshalls has been relatively dry. We've gotten more penny fours. Uh, we've gotten. More like lower end golf. Um, some of the football cleats have sold well on, on Amazon, but even then only certain sizes and colors. But I haven't seen anything like out there that I'm like, all right, cool. This has been, you know, something I really, really want to pick up. So that's it for Marshalls, which leaves us down to two. Ross. Burlington. I told you guys last week they were really, really close. I was very, very close to having Ross tie, possibly go over. But we're going to go back and forth, Ross and Burlington. I got tagged insane amount of tags this one on both stores um, with Ross and Burlington. And both of them, really good finds. So let's start off with the basics and then we'll get into a little bit better stuff, right? So Ross, Burlington, head-to-head, -head. let's get into it. A Sneaky Hustler and the Supa 6.4. $15.99. What do you guys do, or how do you guys feel about these reprints? Now, personally, I haven't been picking them up. Um, we remember when we saw some of them at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Home Goods. I think they were a little bit pricier than this. Some of them are, are numbered. Some of them aren't. Some of them are just plain reprints that don't really have that value. I remember Ken Hustleby picked up quite a bit of them. He sold not, not a lot, maybe a handful of them that actually really did good for him. The rest, he might still have. I haven't even asked him um, if, if he even found those or not. Uh, but these um, are at Ross, $15.99 if you've seen them. We've seen them at the other stores. Uh, picked up two and, and some are serial numbered. So see, that's ex that's the thing I wanted to talk about. Some of them are worth looking into, picking up, and see if they have that value. Some are just reprints that um, wouldn't really make sense to pick up, and you'd probably just be getting your money back. Uh, and also shipping out something like this, you got to make sure they're not. You got you know really really good padding. Make sure they don't fall apart, broken, none of that. So. Uh, yeah, I wanted to shout out these. Let me know in the chat what you think about them. Next one, uh, Smooth Sailing, $44.99 for the pennies in a size 14. Size 14, I still consider human size. I would still pick up a 14. I've sold 14 um, in 
you know, whatever random, uh, wait, 14. Oh yeah, they are men. <laughs> I thought they were, cause he, I saw these women shoes in the back and I was like, wait, 14 men's or women's, but 44 99 solid price. And I haven't seen this color. So, uh, there we go. Shout out to smooth sailing. Next one. Uh, Dapper Fanatic with the Brandon Ingram, $34.99, size 11. And this is supposed to be like the Minneapolis Lakers color, a uh, player exclusive. Let me know in the chat if you've been picking these up. Um, I don't know how I feel about these. I did research them. I think only like two or three of them did sell well. There was more listings as time went on, and I didn't see the balance there with like solds and the listings and people were kind of, you know, bringing that down a bit as well. Great price at 35. Um, if you're looking for like an Adidas basketball shoe, but I think to resell, you really have to be patient on it, but it is, um, maybe that's a little bit better player. I think Ingram doesn't really, I don't know, bring in a lot of hype. So, uh, this one, there you go. Size 11. Let me know if you've seen them. Ton of those pro bounce are hitting every store. Past colorway is bad. So yeah, it is it is a little bit weird. Next one. District deals and Don Alpha Cleat. Uh new kids of the floods. Nike Vandals double stack. Look at that. Double stack. This is kids. So if I pick up a 7Y for Ken uh Hustleby, he can at least be like what 5'8, five, 5'9 five, after wearing these bad boys um <laughs> double stack and air max 90 university reddit ross so 59.99 um don't know if i'm really too thrilled about 60 bucks for these knowing how many other better finds for 54 and 59 are out there uh but air max 90 at least the colorway is definitely clean so all right next one the salt <laughs> uh kids dolphins we're gonna talk about that actually all right, next one, uh, Dapper Fanatic and Souls and Stitches. So uh, Vans out there, $34.99. And uh, don't skip over the Vans. I think there's really good Vans that are moving. Um, if you really wanted to do the research on them, you can double and triple check uh, some of the Vans. And uh, Lone Star State for the Air Money. I don't think I've ever seen that, though. Don't mess with Texas. Agree. Don't mess with Texas. Lone Star State, kind of different. I hadn't seen that before. I did see Air Money, uh, like a black one with uh, gum bottoms. Um, I did see that today at Ross, and I think a size 13. They were all dirty. You know how Ross is. People kicking them around, throwing them around. Uh, but I did leave those behind. But uh, I think they're 69 maybe. I don't know. I can't really tell. But I think they were 69 99 at my store. Gum bottom is flooding, so there we go. Uh, next one. Uh, Sneaky Hustler and uh, TDBS Marketplace. So um, Air Max Plus, question mark. Uh, the kid shoe, really, really small kid shoes do seem a little weird because they don't have like the full air bubble unit. Um, so this is, yeah, kind of weird to look at. And uh, this one is what the winterized Air Max 90s. I think we had one pair at my Ross, $59.99. Only found... Uh, size 10 and then size 13 um, wheat 95s, which was on his next photo. So um, <laughs> why is El Paso always on live PD? I noticed that they always are on live PD. Random stuff happens here. <laughs> okay. So, but we're the safest city, not, not crime related, just random, random things. All right, let's go to the next one. Here we go. Dolphins. So still kicking at sports, which tagged me for the uh, Hustler Hacks Dolphins colorway. And a Dapper Fanatic, same thing. So $36.99. But this one a little bit smaller, 13C. And th this one is a six and a half Y, which is way uh, way bigger. 13C is tiny, and they have the same price. Uh, usually toddler shoes are a little bit cheaper, but um, $36.99? Hmm, I don't feel about that one. So uh, Speed Turf Dolphin 65 on the finish line. So let me know if you've been picking these up. I haven't seen them. I haven't done the research. So I guess I'll let you know if I do, if I do see them. All right, let me see. Found pink Speed Turf also. There we go. All right, next one. Dapper Fanatic, easy money. 
KD, I don't know when you picked this up, but he immediately got hurt right after. It says two days ago. Did you leave this or, or did you take it? Let me know. Dapper Fanatic. Um, Souls and Stitches with Air Python down to Super Clarence, $27.99. So super cheap on that one. Man, how many reduced tags did they put on there? It's like four or five of them stacked. All right, next one. Um, A7 resells with the LeBron 15 Black History Month for kids, $39.99. Uh, let me know for people that did pick these up. How long ago did we see these? I'm kind of wondering, is this a new photo? Um, is this an older photo? I remember these district deals. Um, uh, Root picked these up too. I don't remember how long ago this was um, when there was more of these out here at Ross and at Marshall's. But um, for the ones that did have them, have you been selling them? Have they been moving? Let me know in the chat. So half a Pino months ago. Um, did you sell any half a Pino? Let me know. Have you moved them or uh, are they kind of sitting there for a while? I mean, clean colorway. I like them. I think that, I mean, kids or men's definitely should hold its value. I think the 15s also were better than some of the other LeBrons we've seen. But uh, let me see. So still have mine, Ross Shallington. Sold all mine quick. Latasha Faith Lopez says bought all of them a long time ago. They sold out. Uh, but two still have... What mine? So there we go. Maximal fines. Hey, maximal fines. What's up? So for those of you that did pick them up, what? Yeah, several months ago. All right, let's switch over. Remember, head to head, Ross Burlington, Burlington Jordan Jumpman Hustle forty nine ninety nine still kicking at sports. Um, I think Ken also was like, "Have you seen something with like Michigan colors?" I was like, "No, I didn't see him." Um, Klazi kicks. $54.99. This Air Max Plus was all over the place for the Nike outlet. So I'm pretty sure we're going to see a lot more of these come out um, at Ross and at Burlington. There was um, quite a bit of them at the outlets. Next one, Don Alpha Cleat. I don't know what the price is, but $270 at Burlington. Now this $270, man, what is the name? Man, trying to remember. I think it starts with a B. Like Barwin, Barwin, something like that, I think. Uh, crazy design. This one as well at the outlets. I believe they're 69 um, at my outlets right now. So that plus extra 20 or extra 30, um, they're going to be a lot cheaper than probably what you would buy them at Burlington. So this one, I'm not, I'm not a fan of, of this style, especially putting the 270s on here. I mean, at least have some rank in the 270s like proud but instead it's like hey let's just throw them wherever bowfinger bowfin uh blowfish <laughs> bowfins okay bowfins there we go uh next one uh ross tw uh, ron 23 sells burlington finds this morning so the elite cleats and also with the golf in there which me and uh Grita girl boss saw these at the outlets and i think they were like 24 plus 20 or something um all right next one but i did sell two of these so far i think so these are good next one uh finds of the day and none bought from dz toy box so 59.99 and this one as well has been um at burlington's and we've seen them we've passed over them so yeah he didn't pick up any letting us know next one uh ross shallington sports equipment so see not just sticking to jerseys and shoes, sports equipment. And uh, still kicking at sports says the hockey style catcher mask are an auto pickup, easiest to resell slash flip. Uh, gloves, $15. Helmet, $30. And this one, the catcher one, at $30. So Adidas on those isn't just Everlast. And I don't know. I don't know if there's different colors out there. I don't know um, how much they do resell for. But uh, there we go. Nice finds there. Uh, Ross Shellington. All right. Let me go make sure we're not. Uh, oh, man. I think I got this one out of the way. Okay. Make sure I'm not frozen. It's still blurry on mine. Hopefully I'm not blurry on your screen, but I am on my own. All right. Next one. Um, how many people finding these 
Uh, just Don Converse collab, twenty seven ninety nine. Uh, man, Converse was just like, you know what? Make things worse. Ross Shallington, he even found the other Just Don, the uh, one that he did with Jordan and Nike. And now, man, they're just giving him away twenty eight dollars. I don't think, um, Converse really knew maybe what kind of market was really out there. I kind of like this old school style. I mean, I like the design. I like them. Great deal if you're getting them for the collection at $28. Uh, but I think there's uh, quite a bit of them at every Ross I've been to. Um, Ew, from Caroline. Uh, I passed on these almost every Ross I've been to. So there we go. Lucky on three legs. Uh, but Mile High Hustle, Ross Shallington, and Stevie Hustles, all three of them found these at Ross um, for the Just On Converse. So, all right, we're going back and forth, head to head. So Burlington with uh, Ron 23 cells. He didn't pick anything up, but they did have the techno, the dad shoe. I've seen way more techno now showing up at the outlets, even at Ross in different colors. And also the NERD Adidas camo shirts in active wear for men's. If you have seen this style shirt i saw this color and like two or three other colors but the comps did not look that promising i think even the shorts are out there at ross right now um but thrifty treasures what's up but i didn't pick uh, any of them up but let me know what you think about them maybe to to rock them i don't remember the price 12.99 9.99 i don't know somewhere around there but um yeah they had these out there uh, for uh, yeah, Burlington finds. So there we go. Next one, Ross. All right, now we're getting we're getting serious now. Ross, thirty four ninety nine. Check out the uh, AG though, AG bottoms, um, and of course it has to go to District Deals. Uh, the size though, eleven and a half, a little bit big, but for thirty five, this is, I mean, this is a must. You have to take these. Um, so comps is just completed listings. Um, let me see. So this one, uh, Vapor Elite. I mean, this one and Ross Shellington as well. But 35, the same thing. Totally different bottom. Um, same thing. Definite pickup. Um, and then again, Ross Shellington, 34.99 again. And this is this is easy money. Um, so <laughs> Ross, solid high end cleats, back to back to back. So. Great stuff there. District Deals and Ross Shellington. And then Burlington Counters. They're like, hey, we got high-end cleats too. We can compete. We can hold our number one spot. We can do this. And Vapor 360's uh, TDBS Marketplace. And throwing some foam posits in there. But the cleats, high-end cleats, looks like two pairs. Awesome finds there. Next one, Sal Kicks. More high-end cleats. I mean, this is automatic. You're definitely picking any of this stuff. Look at CA Hustle. He's like, bro, you low-key making me mad. Laugh out loud. Um, oh, man. So that was hilarious. That was a hilarious comment. Uh, and then followed up again, Don Alpha Cleat. I mean, uh, I don't know. My Burlington doesn't look like this. So I don't know what, I don't know what else to say. But they're all following each other with uh, Ross Burlington, these uh, high-end finds. Good stuff out there. What can I say about any of these cleat finds? Uh, let me see. All right, go back to Ross. Here we go. Ross, $49.99. And I think most of these are these women's. This one looks like men's. Ross Shallington, District Deals, and Sneaky Hustler, $49.99. Air Max 95. We get various colors now. You know, first we saw that like greenish one that I picked up, but now we're just getting random 95s for 49 bucks. Uh, let me know if you would pick up any of these for the collection. We don't really know about race selling. We'd have to look at the, you know, completed listings, but man, good stuff for 95s. And then make sure we didn't freeze. Make sure we're good. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Um, and then follow that up, soles and stitches. Now, these Flyknit Air Max, I remember this. Hmm. Two years ago, I think. Two years ago, in the women's section, I found these. And they were 
like 69 or 79.99. They were you know totally different price because of course we get the full air bubble unit. Usually these are priced a little bit higher especially for men's. But here at women's 44.99 like what happened here? So completely changed. Um months later or years later. I I like the color. Um I like the color combo women's section. I mean, if you're out there sourcing, I think you definitely want to pick these up for the collection. Um, $44.99 as well. I like the price. Cheaper than even like the foam posits and everything else that's been out there. So there we go. Solid, cheap price. Um, still kicking the sports with the fire emoji. So soles and stitches. I like that. And I like the price. I like the color. Next one, Fabes Finds and uh, Air Max 97, $49.99. Also, you also you let me know in the chat, um, are they dying down a little bit? I haven't seen a lot of people tag me with 97s um, as much as maybe they did in the last week and a half or two. But I haven't seen any 97s in my area. This one is here, $49.99, Fabes Fines. And Burlington, they counter. So remember, we're going back and forth. Let's see uh, who can come out on top of Burlington with Vapor Max. Um, this one we've seen though um, over and over again, and we had mixed results because of the price, because of how they look. Um, but Burlington again with these, they have like the Flynet, um, what are they called? The Vapor Max Flynet, you know. But Don Alpha Cleat comes back. Now, this we can, uh, <laughs> this one we can approve definitely. So, uh, Vapor Max Plus, orange bottom, white upper. I don't know what the price. I'm guessing $59.99. Burlington loves that price. This is awesome. This is solid. Uh, I wonder if we're going to get any other colors besides this one with the orange bottom. Let me know if you would pick these up for the collection. Um, but, man, this this is an awesome find for uh, Vapor Max Plus. There you go. Sick. Fire emojis. I agree. Definitely digging this one. And last uh, for Burlington sneaky hustler but check this out girls tween we're mixing it up on the tags girls tween size 6 air max 270 39.99 let me know in the chat smash or pass in the in girls tween section if you would pick these up let me know um definitely not a color that i've seen that often at any store, really, um, looking at it now, I'm like, hmm, I don't think I've really seen that one. This pink, what do they call it? Pink tint white. I'm guessing that's what it is. Um, smash, smash. Uh, it's like 1999 ago. Brian Smash. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, a pair of Adidas Human Race sneakers got roasted in the comments for it. Some people said they could have been fake uh, thrift treasures. Hmm. Roasted in the comments. I don't like that. We have to send that so I can see what it what it was and what you picked up. Smash all day. Uh, there we go. Let me go to. We can bring that one out. Let me see where are we. Okay, here we go. I did bring this one out. I think. Oh, I was going to talk about that one. We didn't even get to talk about it yet. But so check this out. Style code Air Max two seventy in this one. Twenty six results. And this is we talked about. I guess girls, women's, tween, whatever they want to call it. Size six Y. 169, 99, 99, 134, 158, 179. Everybody is priced high. Crystal bling? Did they have that on the other one? Is this something different? I don't see no crystal blings on here. Um 159, 159, 159. So let's go to completed listings. 158 recently sold. And so women, this is women's, but it's really a kids at GS, but 175, 175. Um, man, that one was cheap, but 175 again. Um, maybe I didn't even see it in the photo. It just looks like a white swoosh to me, unless they're doing customizations or something. Um, but anyway, 39 bucks. That's an awesome deal. So that one definitely got to pick up. All right, Ross. Back at it again. So Air Max Hunter and Sal Kicks with the 270s and it looks like 69.99 and look at that on feet uh for air max hunter so one two three four 
Well, maybe he was just wearing these and came into the store because they don't have any sensors. But uh, three pairs found, one on feet, and uh, $70 for this one. Uh, let me know in the chat now. Ross, coming up. I like this color. It's a clean color. Black with the volt. Green also on the back. This is awesome. Uh, $69.99, though. That's the price, though. Uh, it's up to you. What do we pick these up? $70. Bucks. Uh, but I definitely dig in the color. Let me go to... Let me go to... Uh, oh, where is the feed that he's looking at? Any link? Can you see it? Let me know. Johnny, if you can see everything here. Let me pull this up. We did. I did want to talk about this one, though. 236 results. They said not at that price, says Monster Vodka. Seems a little high. Lucky on three legs. Um, so let's talk about it. Is that one worth picking up? 236 results. It might have to come down to what sizes you can pick up. Let's see what sizes are uh, the most listed right now. So 28, 25, 26, and 22. Um, looks like eight and a half, nine and a half, ten and a half, and eleven. Of course, those are going to be the most, but um, even size eight at nineteen. So two hundred thirty-five results. What are they? How many have sold? Let me see. Uh, Sixty-seven. They are moving. One twenty-nine at a size fourteen. One twenty-five, brand new. I don't know. It doesn't say brand new without the box though. But one twenty, one oh nine. Pre-owned doesn't count. 120, 132, 135, 130, 159, uh, 149. It looks like with box or maybe without box top, 118 and 120. So um, even at 120, let's say you, you move them for 120. Let's do the math. 120 minus your 13% minus if you do free shipping, uh, let's say 12 on the high end minus so what 69 plus tax you'll be making about 20 18 dollars to 20 dollars assuming the shipping so yeah i would definitely pick up and price high and not let go for cheap doug the pug says sold one for day for uh for 159 so i probably would not go i would not go cheap on on these um i think they're a solid color i could see like some of the crappier colors out there that people may not pick up but this color is solid i mean i would i would definitely get these and hold on to them and get the right you know the right price for them all right let's go to oh we're still at ross so dapper fanatic 270s at 69 don off a cleat with the kobe's at $54.99. So now Kobe AD making a comeback and purple isn't the only color that's also been out there, but I've been tagged on, let me see, think TNC, uh, 63rd and Terrace kicks. And uh, again, oh, it's the same one, but three pairs here. Um, another pair here. This is actually the same guy. So not really, uh, not really a mix. I like this photo though, because we have all the snacks in the back. Uh, fifty four ninety nine, and uh, doing the research on these, the prices are are actually holding up, and they are moving. I really thought some of the other Kobe AD colors would do better than this purple one, but the purple one, and like the igloo, the white one, some of the other ones, not bad. Um, as far as picking up for fifty four, so I would look into that if any Kobe's are in your area, but. Kobe flood coming might happen. That's what the question was saying. But um, we know that Kobe AD now have different models. But if they're as long as they're moving, I would definitely pick them up. And oh, the Oregon one. Oregon one does really well or did really well. I think when we picked him up from the outlets. Um, I don't know. This one I would definitely still be picking up. So there we go. There's another one here. Think TNC. All right. Those purple copies are the best. There we go. Uh, Nate Rick's purple. I know. Uh, there we go. And let me see. All right. Next one. Uh, two cool cat finds and the super six four. So LeBron Black History Month. And I think these are like the Philippines, I believe. Uh, $54.99 on each. And uh, both of them are actually still going pretty well. I think now that it's been years later i mean this is lebron 14 
and there's not a lot of listings at all, especially for the Black History Month. Um, so 55 bucks still, and that's a really good deal for both of these. So um, there we go. Uh, let's go back now, Burlington. Burlington District Deals, of course, $70 for Vapor Max. So $70 there. Um, next one, Don Alpha Cleat again. So I guess that's also something to think about too. Actually, it says Burlington Vines. This one looks like Ross, though. That looks like a Ross tag. Uh, but this one here, but we didn't see Air Max Plus, though. If when I throw that into the Ross Vines, I didn't see any of that. Uh, but Air Max Plus in this color. Throwing it out there, Don Alpha Cleat. And, of course, Sal Kicks. Cleats. And why not throw some Off-White out there? Uh, Off-White, I'm still been looking. I've been checking every time I've been going. Nothing yet. And this looks like two pairs. Not even just one pair Off-White. Two pairs Off-White. Uh, and the high-end cleats. So, Sal Kicks, congrats to you um, on those finds. Off-Whites, hold on to those. Let's see where they go next. But let me know in the chat, anybody still looking for Off-White in the toddlers? Have you been finding them? Uh, let me know. Haven't seen them. You must work there. There you go, half a pino. <laughs> All right, next one. Now let's go back to Ross. Kolhan. Um, Kolhan for like $39. Uh, Fabes finds Scotty Flippin. I like that name. And a Don Alpha cleat with different colors. And the black one, that one, money. Uh, but the blue bottoms, uh, a little weird. I don't really know. And um, these Kolhans, I don't even know how well these are selling. But Kolhan in general, 39. They've been picking them up, tagging everybody. Um, but this is solid. 39 bucks. So good to see that from Ross, though, that they're getting these in. Next one. And, of course, uh, I think this is going to be the last one. So Ross, fine, $37.99. Again, with a Project Rock, I cannot find these. I've been looking. I've been searching. I've been, like, paying attention, to because you, you know how they're facing the other way. We talked about this last week, Paper Drew, how we were like, man, you can uh, – like easily skip over these if you're not paying attention because they are under armor and they're just thrown in there. And, um, and the way they're facing, you got to look for this huge under armor logo. It's almost like this, uh, under armor version of like this fly knit thing here. Of course, this back part is a dead giveaway, but you wouldn't see that if they're facing the opposite way. 37 out of nine. These are big flips uh, for the project rock. Um, so man, uh, if you want to be uh, or tag me on stuff and we can put you in the power rankings, let me know. All you got to do is tag me at Hustler Hacks on the actual photo. Um, and if you go to my profile, you go to tagged, you will see that if your photo is on there, that, um, you know, uh, then you know, you'll be in the power rankings. But if you're not on there, that means it didn't get tagged right and it's hard for me to find it. So sometimes I have to go through and double and triple check. Um, so that's how you would do it. And we'll put you in for the power ranking. So with that, I am proud to say we have a new number one spot. I have to give it to Ross. They've earned it this week. Ross Shallington district deals alone probably made this happen. Uh, Fabes finds great stuff too. Don Alpha Cleet contributed Ross, barely, just barely, right there. That's all they needed to go over Burlington, but they've earned it. And really, they earned it. Not from, I mean, Kobe is okay, but Cole Han, 39. So on the high end cleats, there's still more of them out there. Two, Project Rock, which I haven't found. Ross, you've earned it. So it took six months, but you did it. Ross, is back a new champ and they got their title and to celebrate you know what we got to celebrate somehow i mean six months in the in the making for this i probably should have done better on this giveaway <laughs> thinking about it now uh because it took so long um for them to do this 
but um, four and uh, one quarter of a star. So, all right, Ross Allington, you did win last week, and um, I'm gonna send that when I send this one. All right, twenty-five dollar gift card. We gotta celebrate. We gotta give away a Ross gift card since Ross did win. They did dethrone Burlington this week. So here we go. Here's what you gotta do. Same thing as last week. You gotta let me know. This is based off of listings. So anybody could win. Because if it was like a trivia question, you're just going to go on Wikipedia, look stuff up. Um, if it has something to do with my channel, you're going to go back. It's just, we don't want to do that. So there you go. <laughs> Lucky on three legs, putting on these on. Five, three, two, one, four. <laughs> okay, so here's the question. With the return of Kobe AD, we've had different colors show up. You got to tell me this. <laughs> We're not going to make this too difficult. It's not going to be like all you put all six numbers. No, no, no. There's only two numbers you have to give me. Number one. Which one of these has the most listings right now on eBay? Followed by the least. So if you think this one has the most, they just came out. They're going to put two. And if you think number five, the igloo has the least, you're going to put five. So I only want to see two numbers on well, whatever you're going to submit. I only want to see two numbers. You can do it as many times as you want. Whoever gets it right. I'm going to go back. Someone has to get it right because there's only two numbers you're going to put together. So the most, let's say you think it's this one, and the least listings, you think it's this one, you would put two, five. That's all you would put. So... Keep putting them in. I don't know if the right answer got in there yet. Um, I'm going to go and double check. Let me get some water. We're already over our hour. So let me go back and see. I'm pretty sure someone had to get it right already. But you can keep going. And let me see. All right. Let me let me go back. What is the answer? I think I took a picture of the answer. <laughs> At least I should have. Okay. I know the answer. So let me start from the beginning. No. No. No, <laughs> uh, man, nothing yet. No, no, no. Doug the pug only put one. Um, four then three. No, three then one. No, six. No, two and six. No, three and four. No, uh, three the most, two the least. No, five most. Man. <laughs> We're still going. Uh, five, two, six, two. No. Here we go. We have a winner. And it did take a while. I'm going to take a screenshot. This is what's coming up on my screen. We do have a winner. Let me go down. The right combination was three and six. So, number three was the red one. They have 36 total listings right now. And um, this one, number six, actually has uh, only 14 listings. So um, so if you're looking at a flood, you know, a flood, this one's way behind. We're only at 23. Um, it, they're selling. These are selling. Igloo's selling well. Actually, all of these, maybe even the red one, is probably the least. That's probably why it has um the <laughs> the most listings i personally have these that i'm selling i cannot move them uh they i don't know what is going on um these have actually sold in the past and they did sell pretty quickly but the red ones which is probably i would think the most popular out of all these colors um and just not moving so i don't know what is going on with that but we go back let me double check and make sure the winner is correct, but that was our answer, three and six, and I tried from the beginning. I didn't see it until like midway down, um, and Will, right after Zombries, Zombries put six, five, Will put three, six, Will is our winner, which to me is hilarious, um, because now uh, I would just give it to him so will congrats on that one uh, i did take a screenshot i could bring that up but that was uh 
Man, it was it took quite a while uh, to get to that point, but there we go. Will at three six. I'm trying to go up. You guys can see it right there. So it was very close. See, eBay Joey was there, but he had the opposite. He had six and three. But let me move this out of the way. All right. Uh, inside job. That's hilarious. Zombies. Uh, congrats to my boy Will. And Will's been also supporting everybody on IG. You know, he likes everybody's comments. He's there. So show Will some love. Um, not the order I expected. Me neither. But yeah, 36 listings. Um, so, you know, keep your uh, eyes peeled for the Kobe's that are coming out. So, oh, there it is. Three and six. I thought I took a photo of it. And instead, it was here the whole time. All right. I think we are uh, down to just whatever Q&A. And uh, wouldn't have anything else to uh, anything else you want to say? Anything else we should uh, talk about? Anything? Uh, I blame the Y for the L. It's hilarious. eBay Joey. Uh, so yes, Ross Shellington from last week. Trust me, I haven't forgot. I have your gift card, and then Will, I also have your uh, gift card here, so I can send those out. And um, I've been thinking about maybe giveaways every week. Should we do surprise giveaways in the live? I think people that are here in the live show deserve something because. It's not easy to dedicate your time and effort every Wednesday, um, you know, for an hour. Now we've been going over an hour. Um, but I'm thinking we should do something, you know, some, some giveaways every week. So let me know what you think about that one. Um, how fit are those uh, Cactus Plant Flea Market? Oh, man. They fit. They fit well. But the toe thing does kind of bother me. And that's just because of me and my weird feet. Nothing to do with the shoe. Um, but the uh, unboxing video got mixed results. We did get people that are like, yeah, this is cool. I like to see unboxing something different. And then, of course, we had the other ones that are like, just stick to the raw stuff. Ross, Burlington, Marshalls. Uh, you know, what are we doing? Unboxing hyped up shoes. So we had we had a mix. Uh, but I thought I thought it was cool, something totally different. And uh, as long as I'm picking up stuff, I can, uh, you know, mix it up with unboxings. Uh, second news. Now I told you guys, man, a month and a half ago, that I have been working on something that was going to completely, um, you know, change. Uh, my business and things that I've been working on. I've been thinking about how I'm going to talk about this and show the videos and really break it down numbers wise and what I'm doing. Um, and also like major giveaways that come with this. And so I've been working on that too on how I'm going to do this. Um, I think late next month, these videos should be good to go cleared, ready to go. So, um, uh, you guys will definitely enjoy this. And I also know we're going to get a lot of uh, questions after that. So uh, I'm pretty pumped. I want to see what the response is. And I'm telling you major giveaways for this. So like pff, nothing like these. These gift cards are cool. I wouldn't mind winning one. But nothing like the gift cards. Okay. Um, are you and B getting divorced? <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, I don't know where, where he's at. Uh, we'll bring him on for the next one for Smasher Pass. Uh, I think, I don't know what he was doing today. Um, but we haven't done, people have been asking about uh, Out Hustled with, um, what is it called? Like workshops and all that. I know we haven't done them. I think after you guys see this, uh, this video I've been working on for the next, uh, the next month. That was really like my main thing I've been working on is also not really what we've been doing for the workshop. So a lot of time and effort went into this and you guys will see also the uh, ups and downs that came with working on it. So uh, leg laps for everyone. Let's see major giveaways. Be still working on the fadeaway. Yeah, he's been practicing this whole time. Uh, let me see. Glenn, you teamed with RBX. <laughs> yeah, now they... Uh, Imagine them own RBX colorway, uh, 40 pairs of 95s, question mark. <laughs> uh, 40 pairs of, uh, what are they called? Um, particle beige foam posits given away. Uh, $5, flipping dollars. Appreciate that. Yes, live giveaways are the people that aren't always here for the live show. Thanks. So 
Um, yeah, I think people that are here watching every week, familiar faces, same faces. And uh, I appreciate that, that you guys are here um, and watching every Wednesday. Um, but you cut out the Korean barbecue plug in Kobe esque. That's hilarious. Uh, have you found anything this week at Ross? Uh, yes. And you will see that video on Monday. Um, Kobe, but not going to say what colors and other stuff, other stuff out there. Uh, any more info on the Jersey? That's a good question. So, uh, the Jersey I did, um, talk to, I found this photographer from the seventies. Um, he did seventies NBA photography and he charged like, uh, 50 or 60 bucks a print. Um, and I ended up finding like a Dr. J, uh, photo that he took that had Jojo white in the photo. And you can see the back of his Jersey, um, and I asked him, like, can I get a digital version of this? We worked it out. I got one. And I'm hoping that it is a photo match. If it is a photo match, it's going to completely change how much this jersey could be worth. I looked everywhere for a photo. You know, all the Getty images, Google images, uh, Instagram, and went through YouTube videos. And I couldn't find one. Finally found this one. I'm going to keep you guys posted. I just shipped it out to the auctioneer. They're going to do all of that paperwork. They're going to do the photo match and the certificate of authenticity. If it works out, we shall see. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted on it. I'll probably do a video on that. And if it does work out, like I said before, easily biggest flip um, I've ever done in any of like thrifting, garage sales, Ross, all of that. Um, yeah, definitely do a video on it. So I appreciate that for the question too. More than 10 K, uh, possibly with, uh, with the correct photo match, if it is the right one, maybe hustle, we can watch Spud web Muggsy bugs for inspiration. <laughs> it's hilarious. What day is the b-ball tourney? Uh, we're still working on that. I'm thinking it's going to be the first day we come in. I think on that Tuesday or Wednesday, I need to talk to, um, where is he? We were emailing, and then uh, we need to get a, a, an official day on there. Um, what is he? Oh, man, I already forgot. <laughs> I forgot his name. I mean, from Vegas. Uh, city. He is not even. He usually is here. But um, I got to email him and see you that day. But you can still sign up. Um, hustlerhacks.com slash bball. So there we go. Uh, we live where they would love to retire. Nate Riggs. Who do you got, Raptors, Warriors? So... Uh, from the beginning of the video, I said Warriors will win game six. Uh, Sin City Hustler. There we go. Sin City Hustler. Um, I got a or Sin City Sorcerer. Wait. His combination. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got to email him back again because we were working on the date and I don't think we really finalized it. Uh, let me go back. Where, what was I? Oh, Warriors Raptors. So yes, Warriors will win game six. It will go into Father's Day for game seven. After that, I don't know who's going to win. Um, I wouldn't mind Warriors winning, but if Raptors win, I wouldn't be mad. Did you watch uh, WWE Super Showdown Oldberg versus Elder Taker? That's hilarious. Um, I didn't. Uh, it did come out in the feed though that uh, with like Goldberg looking stunned, and he was like, I guess he ended up getting like semi concussed, and it ended up being like a really bad match. Um, can we get some Hustler Hacks T-shirts? That's a good question. Um, I've, I've, I have the artwork done and it was something that I wanted to do, but I didn't follow through with actually getting them done, but I do have the artwork for what I wanted to do. So I will definitely work on that. I actually got to order more of these. Um, I think also every, uh, gift card winner, if we do them every week or we do something special every week, I also send those with it. So I need to, I need to do that. Um, isn't this the last game at Oracle also? Yeah. So they're pretty much telling you Warriors will win this one. Let me see. Uh, Jordan 4 Raptors resale value going up. I know. They're uh, after this whole finals thing and Drake and everything, they are going up. Uh, what's the cheapest uh, Nike outlet shoe deal ever? The cheapest find we ever saw was it was like seven dollars and the shoe was was that like a blazer in a weird color and hustle b was like no nah, man we gotta get these and then um carlos 
Relentless Resale was like, I don't know what you're thinking. He called out B on his dookie find and he's like, we're not taking these. I don't know why. Why we would even take those. The resale value was garbage. And uh, that was probably the cheapest, though, I've ever seen a shoe bin priced. It was like $7. <laughs> um, are you done with Amazon Merch video? So we do the podcast still, but it's only for the people in our Facebook group. Um, you can still listen to it on iTunes and everywhere else, but um, no Merch by Amazon stuff is going to be on my channel. And that comes down to algorithm stuff with YouTube. I'm trying to improve my channel um, this whole year. And I, I was looking deeper into like what YouTube wants and algorithm and the comments. And YouTube actually gives me updates after videos on what kind of um, non-subscribers or subscribers came in to watch it. Is this video doing well? Why would it be doing well? And um, YouTube really wants uh, sneaker related videos for this channel and reselling and that. So Merch by Amazon does not relate to it. And even when I first brought it in, it was a little mix and some people really liked it, but now we're just sticking it to the uh, Facebook group. What's the lowest you'll take on the Jojo White jersey, Doug the Pug? Um, why isn't Ross expanding into some areas? None are near me, closest in New Jersey. That's a good question. Well, they just got um, you know, into what Cincinnati and Ohio area was so Ken never had one. And now it looks like they're getting a Ross. So maybe they'll make their way uh, towards uh, that way. Hopefully they will. Uh, El Paso Diablos t-shirts, Diamond Girls included. It's hilarious. I know, old Diablos fan. Um, video games behind you? Yes, video games. Uh, most of that came from like thrifting and garage sales. So NES and Super Nintendo collection back there. My N64 collection is pretty weak. Uh, let me see. DD's discounts opening here in the Midwest. There we go. I like the Amazon vids, but the other guy is very dry and negative. Yeah, he's, his personality is hilarious. But we still do the podcast. We still talk and do all that. Um, it's just not going to be on the channel. Uh, do you think Ross might be growing too quickly? Um, I don't think so. I think, well, at the same time, their sales are are amazing. And, and right now being the time that people are getting everything cheap on Amazon... They have figured out a way to do well, bringing in, you know, foot traffic and not go out of business like Toys R Us has. And some of the other Sears, you know, some of these other businesses that just couldn't make these changes, Kmart um, and adapt and do all that. You know, they're finding ways to still make that in store. And who, who knows how much they pay for rent and building up new stores and hiring new employees. Um, they're doing well. Um, I don't think they're growing too quickly, but I think that um, right now, while it's hot, they're doing the smart thing and they're expanding, you know, so many new stores. Um, and I think Burlington wants to get to that point. They have like half the amount of stores like we saw in the research. And I think it's going to take years, you know, to get more stores and even go through, you know, the stores they currently have to make them. Uh, look so presentable and nice. Like talk about all of the, you know, shady Burlingtons that we've gone to, and now they're turning fancy. Uh, Justina OG flip ten dollars. Thanks for the knowledge. Thanks for the super chat. Ten bucks. Um, everybody else that donated in super chat, flipping dollars. Uh, let me go back up. You know, they're everything for the super chat. Appreciate that. Um, you know, ten bucks, five bucks, anything. So thanks for hanging out and donating. <laughs> Anyone find giant Uno cards lately? They're going for 80 plus on eBay. It's hilarious from Victor. You should do updated sneaker collection videos soon. Yeah, I could do that. I could do uh, that one. Um, I have a lot of my Jordan 11s unworn. They're all back there. Space Jams and earlier Space Jams. And I could do a video. Uh, let me see. Holding my V2s. Definitely Black Easy. Probably stay around four to 500. Um, yeah, they've been doing, um, uh, I think that's also correct, especially compared to like reflective being at what, like 12, 1300 right now. Oh my gosh. Like that one, the all black one really did well on non-reflective and especially reflective. If you were lucky enough to get them, 
Let me see. I went to a real dirty Burlington, lots of track shoes and no spikes. Oh, man. So already doing workshops this year. We don't know yet. We've talked about it. Uh, me and Ken have talked about it over and over again on if we were to do it, where we would want to do it. We haven't gone anywhere in like New York, New Jersey area or Philly area. And those are the ones that I think we would go to next if we were going to do a workshop. So um, that's all I pretty much know for now, but nothing is really in stone yet. Uh, let me see. Any news on Livermore, California store? I didn't see that. I've seen different stores, you know, on the Burlington website and everything, but no, no really updates. You'd really have to like contact them personally or call them or see anything of when they're going to open. Uh, but no other, um, you know, updates from the articles or even them just updating the sites. Nothing really near me as well. What are some soccer jersey brands worth buying? Um, I would stick to like Nike and Adidas, but really only go for the higher end. Nike, we're looking at like retail for $120, $150. Uh, but anything else, like I've seen $50 jerseys, um, $90 jerseys, and Ross has them for like $24 or $34.99. Um, you'd have to double check the research on that. But really the, the higher end, the higher, you know, elite jerseys at $120, $150, those are the ones I would look for. Well, there we go. New Ross opening up north. Uh, Hollywood, California. Let's see, right next to the brand new Burlington. That's from Victor. Um, let me see. Found a few Ultra Boosts at Ross this week from Christian. Um, flipping dollars at Atlanta. There we go. Uh, let me see. Come to East Coast, New York area. Exactly. We talked about East Coast. That, that would have to be our next one because we haven't got anywhere near that. But we will be at eBay Open. If you are going to go to Vegas, we will be there. Basketball and the actual event. And uh, Ken really wants to do like a meetup. So we might do a meetup instead of a workshop for that one. Maybe we can do something. Um, I just like hanging out, talking and hearing everybody's also with like their stories and what they're doing right now, working full time um, and, and doing this part time, or maybe they're looking into doing full time reselling. I just like meeting people, hanging out and uh, maybe we can do that for Vegas. So I think that's it. I think we're good to go. Uh, we are uh, basketball and clubs, eBay Joey. <laughs> we are uh, over our hour limit, but appreciate everybody that was here for the live show and the super chat and the giveaways. And yeah, next week, maybe we'll do a smash or pass and uh, see where we go from there. And ever find Nike stuff you can find info on? Shooting shirt, retail 120. Um, but it's happened from time to time. Um, but yeah, I think... Uh, yeah, you'd have to double and triple check Google, the Nike site, and eBay and see anything can come up. But it's happened before, definitely. All right, we'll see you guys next week. A Friday video, Burlington. Monday video, I'm almost done editing for uh, Ross. So, all right, see you guys. Go out and get it.